let's see, I think I added some images of the coming publication, uh, which you are working on right now for the uh, current exhibition. Um, it was a pleasure again to, to structure the content uh, in collaboration with um, Giovanna Borassi and uh, also to find a way how, how the content can find its way into a modest, still modest, but kind of ambitious publication which tries to express something that is uh, significant for the exhibition as well, it means to have a, a topic or a, a content which tries to bridge two continents on the same topic, which is uh, building for housing or dwelling. Um, interesting enough, I did not know the architecture of Stephen Taylor, but since I've, working on, I've been working on this book, I just realized that there's something in British architecture which attracts me very much and which I think is, makes it uh, very understandable why European culture is so different to Japanese culture. I must say that I, I don't really believe that I would feel very comfortable living in a house of Nishizawa. Also, I'm very fascinated. It's absolutely astonishing. Well, here you see the difference of two covers in two languages already. Uh, of course, I have my preference, I don't tell you. <laughs> well, the, the book concept tries to embrace uh, uh, the, the shared part. The, the center of the book is what we say is the CCA part, the contribution of the CCA, uh, communicating to, towards both sides with both architects. So starting with, with so one edge is uh, Nishizawa and his architecture. Very atmospheric, as you know. And then we, we change, we have a paper change, so the center part is, uh, is printed black and white on, uh, on a uh, uncoated paper with a conversation. And then the third part, or seen from the back of the book, is Taylor's part. It's a quite different atmosphere. It's interesting that, again, this material, or the material we had to choose from, shows that architects always try to, to leave the context out. No architects uh, like to show too much of the neighbor's uh, building. Um, well, maybe that will change one day. At least they get some people in. Um, but already, also that was quite difficult to achieve. What I also uh, respect very much is that uh, the institution uh, wanted to see the exhibition itself represented in the publication. I think that's in this case very uh, meaningful because this, the dialogue which happens in the exhibition should continue in the publication and so um, I was really happy to see these beautiful exhibition photographs which makes it worse for once that the publication comes out when the exhibition ends. <laughs>